I know you got soul. If you did, you wouldn't be here. If you did, you wouldn't be here. I know you got soul. Yeah. You wouldn't be in here. Woo! What up? Bobby Bird, I know you got soul. Shake your thing. Woo! Hit me with the beat. What up, everybody? Time for some Valtopia TV, baby. I know you got soul. Hey, hey, say hello. What's happening, honey? What's happening? It's Thursday. Yeah, Danielle, what's going on, honey? How are you? It's Thursday, almost 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Time for another edition of Valtopia TV, and I got some good stuff for you today. And I'm looking over here. I'm going to share this everywhere. You know how we do. You share too, please. How are you, Danielle? What's happening? I know you got so. No, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> so I'm having an amazing um, experience of booking in clients every few days or so. And I wanted to share about it because who doesn't want to know about that if you're working for yourself and um, sharing your gifts. So we're going to talk about that today. And we're going to talk about um, this weather if you've been feeling sleepy or weird or emotional, tell me how you've been doing. What's been going on with you guys? I've been getting a lot of reports on my feed about how you guys are feeling. And some people are already on the other side of this and they feel fantastic. So know that that's coming for you too. Every time the cosmic weather makes you feel tired and you feel um, emotional and all these kind of things, know that there's like this tunnel you're going through. I call it the tunnel of creation. And you're going through a, a, a period where you're coming into awareness and you feel awkward and strange and tired and your body is regenerating. And we're going through like massive upgrades in our body and our molecular structure, everything. So let yourself rest and regenerate if you feel tired and allow yourself to witness what isn't working for you that's coming up for release, right? This is a great time if you're having all these unwanted emotions and awkward shit going on. Like, look at it. What is it there to show you that you want to change in your life so you can get more aligned? You feel me? So tell me how you're doing. Tell me what's going on. I'm sharing to my group, Valtopia. If you're not in there yet, you should be if you love it. Share the stream. Like my business page, check out my YouTube, get your free meditation. All right, where else are we sharing this? We're going to share into the light workers thing. I'm going to share it to my page. And we're going to get started. I've got all my decks. I'm ready to do a group reading. And I'm ready to tune into as many of you as I can before my kids get home. You know? Um, where else are we sharing? Okay. Say hello. Say hello as you're joining on. Hey, Kim. There she is. Hey, Paul. Hey, honey. Get ready to do some connection here. Ooh, I feel some chest coming on. Definitely feel some chest. Thank you for the love. Where else are we sharing? Um, let's share into the dream lab just so that everybody gets on. Loving the stuff that we had going on in there. Love my D-Lab crew. And I can't wait to run it again and get a whole nother batch of you going through this process because it's been amazing. It's just everything that's happening with each and every one of my clients. I'm just like, yes, I love this work. I love it. I'm so blessed. So blessed. All right, let me share to you my, my timeline. Thank you for all the love, honey. And I'm going to put a little watch party and then let's get started, right? Say hello. Say hello if you're just coming on and tell me what's going on. What's going on? I wish you could still listen to that. Hello. If you got so. Right? Oh, you wouldn't be here. Bum, 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 bum. All right, Jess. Hey, what up, baby? How are you? I forgot to put on my rings. I like wearing my rings when I'm doing my show. So, um... I think we shared it all around. You share too, please. Let's get some crew on here or let's connect as we are. Tell me how you've been feeling with this weather and what's coming up for you today. What's, what, uh, what would you like us to shift or talk about or come into? And I'm gonna do the group reading 
collective reading. Let me know if you're watching the playback. Ooh, it's quiet. Sometimes we have a bunch of people hopping on here. So um, here's what I'd love to share with you um, as we're getting started. Chester! So I have been, I had a period, um, how do I want to tell this? I've been, set, I've been in business um, making sales with Valtopia. Today's been good. Oh, good, Paul. The weather is nasty. Oh, the cosmic weather or the real weather? Yeah, let's have a little chat while everybody's joining on. Let's let everybody come on and then I'll share the message. Let's just get started here with some cards and uh, general cards for everybody. And then I'll t I'm going to give you the message because I want some more people on here. Paul took a big nap, like you said, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, you know what I've discovered over many cycles of this? Since 2015, I've been super aware of the cosmos and how it affects me. And um, I've learned the hard way that when you feel that overwhelming sense of fatigue, like, like your lungs are tired and you kind of can't breathe and you, you can't really think and everything's too much, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Your body needs to adjust to the shifts that are happening. And then when you're asleep, everything comes into, um, what's the word I want to say? Into stasis and balance and not stasis, into balance. I wanted to say homeostate, but into a, an aligned collection of you. And um, you want to put something good in your ears. And I'll tell you, over the last few weeks, that is one of the things that has been helping me connect properly to my soul clients. is taking the time I need to regenerate and honor my channel. I'm super cosmic, I'm very empathic, I'm highly sensitive and aware, and the job that I do is to be extremely in tune and aware. So for me to ignore and be busy and just get things done and not stop every day on a very deep level and tune in and let my body just become every day more of what it is, this is what we need to do. So if you feel tired, if you feel overwhelmed, let yourself regenerate. And sometimes we're living a life where that's not easy. And so you're going to have to take at the moments that you can. Hey, Michael, welcome. Hey, hi, everybody. And you're, you, you get to honor yourself as if there was someone else if you need that at first. If you're not used to caring for yourself or you've been trained to um, work all the time and and um, not tune into your highest being on a regular basis as in daily and do the expansive, sometimes scary, sometimes awkward, sometimes unusual things you might need to do to bring in the levels of rest, regeneration, and, and creation that you need, you're taking a risk with your beautiful divine energy. Kim says it's not easy at all. You know, the thing about it is that some of these challenges that we face in the beginning get easier because you begin to recognize your own patterns. And if we are in a misaligned life, um, which many of us start out that way, uh, it might take a minute to get into alignment. You got to give yourself a chance and get through the difficult stuff. Each and every one of us who has transcended has been through a shit storm. I've been through mine and I'm not over. We're not dead yet. <laughs> shit goes down every day, all the time. It's how we learn to know ourselves and feel good in our own skin and in our own energy and call in different responses and, and magnetize different way of being that shifts the difficulty. Life is an experience of uh, challenges, isn't it, right? So I put on this music, but it's kind of irritating me. Let me see. That's a little better. There was some weird little noise going on there that I was like, uh uh Exactly, Danielle, the shift storm. I love that, I love that. And Kim's been through it more than once, and I know, I know there's moments we have where we're like, holy shit, but here's what I wanna tell you. You've gotta watch your language, you've gotta watch your thoughts, and you've gotta watch where you're putting your energy and presence. And it's okay to share in a form where you're also inviting yourself, hey honey, um, to, to look at what's happening and why is it happening for you? I hated it when I got told this at first. I'm like, this shit is not happening for me and I did not call this in. What are you talking about? And yeah, we do. <laughs> we, can't, we, we, chose, we chose this and, and we, get, we get to shift it. So um, that's that, no matter how difficult it gets, 
You gotta look at what the situation is and allow yourself to come into strength. And sometimes that takes like, for me, it took me a lot of different spiritual training and a lot of different um, uh, levels of release of beliefs and perceptions and rules and all kinds of things I had kind of blocking me from my own wisdom. And the more that I let that stuff go, the more the wisdom comes through. And then on top of that, I'm running a business and, um, you know, learning so much about being a CEO of my own international company. And so I thought today it would be really fun um, to kind of move through this weather and move through the challenges we've been going through. I'm going to do a reading and talk about how, why I've, why I shifted from a place where I was kind of stuck and wasn't really booking in the clients that I had been to like now it's, I know I'm booking something every day. And I wanna share what shifts, I, what, what kind of shifts I made for that to happen. Cause even if you don't have a business and you're not booking in clients, you can take, the, take away the guidance um, to allow deeper shifts in your life. So who wants to hear about that? Let me know. And while I'm waiting for you to answer, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull some cards for the collective, right? I know you are, Kim. We have to, if somebody says something, you know, the teacher in me has to, uh, hey, Brandy, what up, baby? Hi. Um, I have to, you know, illuminate the lesson in there, right? Or I feel called to is what I wanna say. I feel called to. Daniel's ready. Ooh, look at the first card coming up is energetic boundaries. Who is needing support with boundaries? Kim says, me. And look, sacral chakra, that's our creative center. And our I, I am, I'm safe center. And our, our worthiness, our worthiness is inherently tied in <laughs> to this, uh, this um, creativity and be, being tapped into our own wisdom and allowing and creating abundance and everything. Brandy's ready too, yes. So, uh, here's the difference. The first thing I had to do, and this happened back in December, when I began mentoring with my current mentor, and she, and, uh, she called me on my shit. <laughs> and she holds a powerful space. And that I, because of her self-resonance and care, um, I, I, feel, I feel safe to expand. And she'd also come up from nothing. So I could trust that she had figured some shit out, right? And so um, the first thing I had to do was quit freaking out about money. <laughs> now, I wasn't freaking out about it. I had come a long way from uh, the first course I took in 2015 about procrastination was $100 for six weeks. And I literally felt nauseous all night for having made that expense. So when you guys come to me and you don't have a budget and you spend $22 or $197 and it's a big deal for you, I get it. I was just there a few years ago. I get it. Cause you're like, oh, I'm breaking the rules and I'm spending what I have and it's gonna go away and you know, all this stuff. And so, um, so here's the thing. I'd come a long way from that place, but, 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 but I, in the back of my mind, I was still putting everything I was doing in this sort of um, freak out about what ifs. So the first thing I did was stop thinking about what ifs and start thinking about what is. And what is, is what I decide. And so that means that I had to get more deeply rooted and focused into my journal and my self-examination and what I desire to call in. And this is something that I ran from a lot in the beginning of my awakening because I just wasn't ready to settle down and even I couldn't stream through clear thoughts. Yeah, if you're freaking out about life, what do you think you're gonna get? Freak out, you're gonna get freak out. And that's not easy to hear when you're in, in the middle. But I had done it before, Kim, when I was in the middle of my marriage and I knew that things weren't working and I had a very difficult life relationship where I could barely breathe and I had terrible IBS and I was afraid and my kid, and there was a lot of fighting and I couldn't think. I still managed to turn that off and tune in and channel a coloring book. You can go find it on amazon.com for $8.88. I channeled a coloring book. I learned energy healing. I learned to calm the fuck down. And a lot of my day, Kim, back then was saying this prayer 
I clear all energy from my field. I ground and center. I was a little neurotic. I had a lot of crystals. Where's my crystals? I had a whole bag of crystals I carried around with me and patchouli oil and clove oil. And I was saying my little prayer all the day. And I was tuned into my new spiritual communities. And, and I, I had to do a lot of work to just calm down first. And that was the first step. And the other first thing was believing. I had to begin to believe. Oh, Danielle, you've got to take the reboot. You've got to do the reboot. The journal is, is I know that feeling, and I still uh, sometimes mess around that way, but I've found a way. I have activated more empaths, star seeds, and creatives to get in their journal and change their life. I, 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 because I'm the worst one, so I know your sabotage, my friend. So we can talk about that. It's vital to learn how to calm down and get in tune with what's going on. That's the only way you can bring it through. So you're going to be at different layers of this experience. And, you know, here I am. It's 2019 now. And in the turn of 2019, around December, as we were coming into 2019, there was another deep-rooted belief around my connection to my family beliefs around money that I had to let go of and shift. And, you know, when you're close to your family and you trust them and they love you and you love them, and I'm 48, so I had a whole bunch of years to really pound these beliefs into my head. It was hard to let go of some of that stuff. It really was, but I did. So that began to shift things and shift my vibration and my frequency. And what I started to do, and then this is what I had to ramp up even more as the weeks went on, was begin to shift um, my time that I spent, my awareness, my consciousness into shaping my beliefs into creation. So you guys hear me say this all the time on the live streams is create, don't ruminate. Create, don't ruminate. And I, I, Kim, I have two kids. I get it. I get it. It is for your kids. So do it. I'm about to go off on you. I'm about to go off on the whole crew. The lightning bolt is coming through. Of course it's for your kids. If it was just for you, would it be any less powerful? No. So we have to choose. We have to choose to ground, we have to choose to center, and we have to choose what the fuck we're thinking about and what we're speaking and what we believe about ourselves. That is the shift. And if you can't get to that shift yourself, get some help. You're doing it by watching these live streams, you're doing it by tuning in, but the anxiety and the fear and the, oh, what if, what if this, what if that, stop it. Fucking stop that, right? Two people just logged up. <laughs> Go away if you can't handle the fire because I'm bringing it through. I love you. I love you and I care about you and I see you and I see me and you and I see what I had to go through to shift and I shifted and I'm on another side of it. I mean, sure, I've got plenty more to go, but you know what I'm saying? I feel so confident in what I'm sharing, not only because I did it for myself, but I've guided a whole bunch of clients through it. And all my clients have had terrible, like not all my clients, but many of my clients have been through terrible childhood trauma, horrible um, shaping that's scary and has left them with PTSD. And we are shifting. We're shifting. So the first thing is choice. What are you thinking about? What are you talking about? What are you putting in your ears when you're listening to music? What are you watching on TV? Who are you hanging around? All of that, all of that. Hi, Leanna. Okay. So that began to shift things. And all along in the whole experience since 2015, I've been channeling through collective experiences. And, and oftentimes I've, I've channeled them for one or two or three people. And now I have a library of amazing content because I delivered it at a thousand percent for those three people. And now I have this amazing library of content that I'm offering to you that helped shift me because I believed in what I was doing when nobody knew who I was and nobody was signing up yet. Okay, so that's the second thing. I have carried through and trusted and backed myself about that content and bringing it through. And now I have a beautiful team that I invest in to help me. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, Wendy. To make sure that um, you can uh, benefit from the, tr the transformation that I already went through, right? So that's becoming, that, that's something that kept, that was going all the time. But my one-to-ones were just not booking for a minute, even though I had booked for months at several thousand dollars a month. I was like, what the heck is going on here? And it turns out that the way, I've mentioned this recently, but the way I was offering my services is the way other people do it. And I had been doing it 
but it wasn't aligned to the way I want to work. So this is where you have to allow your own sense of creativity. This is where you begin to figure this stuff out in your journal because you start thinking, well, what isn't resonating for me? What am I longing for? Where do I want to connect? And I came up with a new way of working and I'm just like, it's just happening because it's aligned to my personality and my strengths and what I desire to do with my clients. And that's just popping everything open. Okay? What do you guys think of this amazing feedback I'm just giving you? I could make a whole paid class and all that, but let's just go ahead and get you in one of the experiences I already have going and, and uh, it'll be awesome. I'm looking at myself on the, the live stream down here. Hey, Kirsty. All right, so yes, it made you a strong person and that's absolutely, it's our shaping. These negative and difficult experiences that we go through are our shaping. For me, I've always wanted to inspire and guide others. It's just a natural inclination of mine. And um, I kinda knew that when I was, like after I got out of the divorce, uh, the marriage, and I didn't have my any money, and I, like I was just living off Valtopia without any stipend or anything, um, I, I had figured out, and I did. And there was something inside of me that wanted to know that I could. So that when you guys come to me as clients and say, but wah, I can go, nah, nah, I've been through it, I know. <laughs> I've been through the school of hard knocks and I came up and out of it. So something inside of me wanted to know the hardest, most difficult situations so that I could hold that kind of space. So if you're here to serve others, if you're here to be a healer, a guide, a messenger, a leader, and you're going through the shit right now, Give yourself a pat on the back and say, damn, I'm going to be a powerful lead. I am a powerful leader. I'm leading myself through this, right? Doesn't that make you just, I feel your heart, heart chakras going, oh, that's good. Jasmine says, I'm dealing with some hard stuff. The more I try to work on me, stuff gets thrown at me and I'm trying to stay strong and it makes me feel weak. Okay, so here's the thing. When we ask to grow, we will be offered opportunities to grow in that area. So a lot of times when we begin to expand, we feel better, things start to happen, and then it's like boom, boom, boom. And you think people think, oh, it's too hard. Let me go back and crawl in the hole I came from. It's like, that's even worse. It's there for you to grow. And growing can be awkward, painful, difficult, and stay the fucking course, find out what you need to get through. Now here's another reason I'm, I'm booking more clients. Soul clients, as in I meet you guys, I love you, and we shift like that, because we're meant to be together, we're meant to expand together. And I do believe that all my clients, we are a constellation, and that collectively, we're expanding together. So I take, that's why I show up live every day. It's not easy for me to show up live every day. I got a shit ton of stuff I need to be doing. This is me just giving my time. It's because I want us as a collective, I want Valtopia to have a space for us to convene and expand together, right? And so um, when, one of the things that I've been, some of the things that I've been doing is about um, taking care of myself and recognizing certain areas where I wasn't because I had some beliefs that I didn't need that. Like the other day I mentioned about booking in a sitter. I didn't want to book a sitter. I'm like, I should be with my own kids. My ex kept saying that. You should be with your own kids. Our kids should be with us. That, you know, he has a, I shouldn't make that face when I'm describing him, but you know, it was convenient for us to get sitters when I was working and living as a wife. But now that I'm out on my own, and gotta make my money. We're not supposed to get sitters. No, I need, a, I need to feel safe and expanded and that I can consistently show up and that my kids are taken care of. And that was something that was vital to me and I was ignoring it because of beliefs and rules and other people's opinions. That is a huge area where if you're not looking and you're clued into somebody, granny's story or your uncle or your boss or whatever and you're not listening to your own, you will block yourself. So think about areas where you really need something, but you think you're not allowed to because you can't afford it, you can't, uh, don't have time, or it's not done, but you know you need it and you want it. You better acknowledge that. That's gonna change your whole experience. It, did, it has for me, every time. Make me all sweat in here. 
painful, says Jasmine. And Kim says, I know how you feel. It'd be better once you get through it. Yep, getting through it is part of the experience and uh, helps us to grow and shift. All right, look at this. This card came up a couple times today. It came up in one of my private client readings. And I was saying, every time you begin a new experience, we're always going through fresh cycles, right? Whenever you begin a fresh cycle of awakening, you wanna declutter. You wanna declutter your mind. You wanna declutter your environment. You wanna declutter your email. You wanna declutter whatever it can take to be open so that you can release old stuff and let new stuff come in. We are evolving creatures always. We're molecular beings of light changing and shifting. So make sure you keep it clear. Follow your intuition. This is the other thing that I'm just talking about that has expanded me is following my intuition and trusting and believing my own knowing. When I don't listen to my knowing and I try to follow other people's advice, in the past, I don't do that anymore, but in the past I did, it doesn't ever work. Because can you imagine how unique I am and what I need to know to guide me? You can see that now because I've evolved to a point where it's really obvious, right? You can see all my color and my life and my light. But back when I was less embodied and defined, yeah, I would ask everybody for their opinion and didn't, you know, then I'd have these moments of the lightning bolt coming through and I'd follow it and everything would work out perfectly and everybody would go, you can't do that, that's crazy, nobody does that. And I'd be like, I, I do that. And then it would work. So if you know that about yourself, and you've got to trust yourself. So follow your intuition to the money magic, honey. The money magic is about being in alignment with your divine creation and being and letting yourself feel safe, free, expansive, creative, alive, connected. Anything that takes you away from all of those feelings is probably taking you away from your money magic. You got me? Who loves this, this stream today? This is good, good stuff. I'm gonna need to package just this little bit up for everybody. And you guys know that these live streams pump straight through to YouTube every day. I've put the YouTube link in the comments. I would love for each and every one of you to subscribe over there and you can watch it. And the more you listen to this kind of stuff, the more your mind begins to shift and guide you back to yourself. My live streams are all about you and you coming back into your own wisdom, right? Jasmine says, got you. Thank you, Jasmine. Isn't this good, Brenda? Hey, Brenda, how are you? It's good to see you. Jasmine says, my blood family is the issue. The family I created is much better. Yeah, I think a lot of us feel that. And you know what I believe, Jasmine, is that as empathic healers and amazing visionary guides, uh, we get paired up with as much resistance as possible. We are magical, powerful creators. Can you imagine if we just got like dropped in the life of ease? Do you think any one of us would figure this shit out? If we're all rolling around with our butt in a tub of butter, nobody gonna expand and evolve. We need some contrast to allow us to burst through the unworthiness, burst through the fear, burst through the shame, burst through the pain to understand and evolve as healers, guides, leaders. You can't stand up and lead a whole bunch of people if you haven't gone through the experience of being alive and living your own truth. You can't sit on the couch and suddenly be a healer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a smart ass today. <laughs> well, every day, but. Jasmine says, I think my throat chakra is broken. No, nothing is broken ever. There is no broken. Throat chakra probably has some past life stuff going on. You know I clear that. All this stuff just clears up when you begin the process of, of doing this work. Brenda said, except it would be nice once in a while. What would be nice? I miss, I always forget what I said, said a minute ago. I'm like, what is she talking about? Kim says, I want my court case done. So tired, but I won't give up until I get my little girl back. Yeah, I know that's, that's a difficult. I really feel like... Um, Maybe you can get some support group, get a support group with other women going through the same thing that are, are succeeding. I would, I would also, Kim, advise you to find somebody or a group, group community of people who have successfully gone through what you're trying to go through. All of you. That's why, oh yeah, the tub of butter and the ease. Yes, it would be, it is, well, it does come in, doesn't it? If that's what you're looking for, call it in. Call it in. So, um, yeah, always get your advice from somebody who has proven results in the thing you're trying to do. And surround yourself with people that believe in what you're accomplishing. You know, make sure you don't 
put your eyes, ears, and mind around a bunch of negative crap that has nothing to do with your soul dreams, if you do that and let it affect you, that's on you. Right? Oh, good, Jim, Kim. Good. I am fire sassy today. What's going on? <laughs> do you feel it? I feel a lot of heart chakra. All right, this is really good, and I think the message came through so powerfully. I'm drinking, um, I'm drinking a matcha, uh, matcha with maca, ice, and a little almond milk. I got this fun little blender thing, and, I, and a bullet or whatever, and I've been drinking smoothies. I've lost five pounds. Oh, this is the other reason I've been getting soul clients. Not getting, connecting with and living life with my soul clients. Yay, Christy's drinking matcha too is because I've been working out of the gym every day. So if you follow me on Instagram or on the Valtopia Studios page, you'll see that I post, it's embarrassing, but I post my sweaty picture every day. And the reason I do that, and it isn't every day, but it's almost every day, is for myself and my own accountability and to inspire my clients and you guys to do the same for yourself. I'm the kind of person, I have a shit ton of energy coming through me. I'm very athletic, I've always been athletic. And if I don't work out and sweat and move that energy through, we gonna have some backup problems on every level. And I'm just not at the highest uh, luminance that I am when I pump weight. Look at this. Look at this. Muscles come late. I saw it. Oh, wait. That's not so soft. <laughs> I'm 48, honey. I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But, um, you know, feeling strength from my own body to support my mind and my spirit and everything. Um, that's been huge and I've been drinking and eating very healthily and I cut back on some unhealthy habits and people It's been a process. It's a whole process of attuning Everything to my soul guided experience and that takes vision and time to tune in and commitment and Breaking through the times when you feel like you can't do it and all that stuff, right? Danielle, I want to talk to you guys about not being able to write in your journal. When I saw your name, it reminded me of that you wrote earlier. I, I really want you to hear me on this, what I'm going to share with you right now. I'm sharing what I'm offering to you guys next weekend. This is not a sales pitch. This is an offering for you to join me at a, at a really awesome invitation. And I'm doing this because once you come in, so much will happen that even if you don't continue with me, it, you will shift so much and it's my gift to us, okay? So next Friday, I'm starting the five-day messenger experience. I know you guys have been hearing me talk about this. We're going on our fourth one and every single one has been amazing. Danielle, I got a story for you. I have a story for you. Um, so that starts on Friday and, it's in, and the topic is unfuckwithable, unfuckwithable new standards for living. Isn't that good? New standards for living because so many of us are people pleasers and outside of ourselves, and our standards are not living up to our divine calling at all, okay? So that's what the five day messenger is about and what that is is a group messenger chat with however many people join, whether it's one person or 50, but usually it's one or two so far because it's a new thing. And uh, we, we pivot through shit for the five days. We shift. <laughs> Every day there's a group card reading, but mostly what happens is you get to put, just like you're doing in the comments here, but then I sit with you and work through the stuff with you. And I can't believe, I mean, I can believe it, but I'm, I'm just so thrilled with the results we've been having. But here's the thing. If you sign up today and tomorrow on the early bird, you get the reboot too. So Danielle, I did the reboot back in November. It's a three day, experience but it'll last about five days in a group in a facebook group and all the content's already been made but um hey sarah welcome uh i had a client i had a lady i did it free the first time you got to pay attention to my free offers because they end up becoming my paid things i do stuff every few months and to invite new people in and to let you get to know me um but the reboot was my free offer and it was I, i'll knock it out the park and my, my girl Donna was in there and she'd been doing work for 10 years. She'd been through a terrible, you know, her mother had passed away and she was still in a state of grief and a lot of stuff going on. And she hated writing in her journal, Danielle. She hated writing in her journal. And uh, I, this experience that I channeled through with the reboot, she, the first night I said, you're gonna have to, you know, 
um, get on the, you're gonna have to write out this thing, it's part of the experience. And she was like, fuck you Val, I'm not writing in my journal. And she messaged me the next day and she's like, I can't believe you. I wrote 10 pages, I wrote for hours, you know, and she just completely uh, shifted. And she became a one-on-one -on -one client and she's still in my Valtopia sphere. And, and the stuff that we've learned together, she's putting to practice in her life. And so, I, I could, I, Danielle, I think you'll switch. So, all right, let me see what we got here. Um, Danielle, I got you. I would, do, I would sign up. You get the reboot as a bonus right now if you sign up. That's a $444 program now. So you for $288, you get five days with me and Messenger and the reboot. This is a really good deal and everything's shifting up because I'm getting more booked. So don't miss it. Please don't miss this opportunity for me to love on you. Please. All right. Sarah says, um, you just drew me in and I had to follow. Just had to say you have amazing energy. Thank you. Yeah, everybody always comes on and they're like, where'd you come from and what's going on? I, well, I love it. <laughs> so Sarah says, can I ask you, what do you want to ask me? I'm an Oracle reader. How do you know how much free readings to give until you need pay? Oh, you mean like how many, how much free stuff do you offer until you begin to ask for a client to get paid for your sessions? And I, I love that you're in, I've called you in Sarah because I have this awesome class forming that's gonna launch late summer. So please sign up on my mail list, get your free meditation, and then you'll be first to know about this fucking amazing class I have coming through just for you. I am calling in the oracles. Yes, okay, so I went through this. So in 2015, I, I woke up in 2014, my brother passed away in the fall of 2014 and I, I woke up. And then in 2015, I, like the spring of 2015, I started getting online and I was um, in a class with this amazing mystic and she was like, Val, you are gonna be doing things that is just gonna blow your mind. You're gonna be doing multi-dimensional traveling and time shifting and energy shifting and all this quantum stuff, it's crazy. And um, yes, Sarah, well, you're gonna have to stay tuned for that one, but you should join my class that I'm offering next week because it'll help you so much. So um, the link is in the comments. I would love to see somebody sign up right now. You know what, whoever signs up during the live stream, I'll, I've got a bonus for you. Um, yeah, all my classes are paid, most of them. Um, and, but I do have products from $22 and up on my website. So, um, so your mom woke you up too? Yeah, that's what happens. Somebody passes and we like, uh Oh, what happened here? It happens a lot. So I started doing energy healing in 2015. I had a wonderful, wonderful guide and energy teacher who healed a lot of my past life and cleared and untangled a whole shit ton of energy for me. And she offered a lot of the sessions free at first because she was growing her business. Um, and I, I love her methodology and I still use it in a lot of my audio, guided audios that I do. Um, but I, I didn't, I started offering sessions with me to just hang out and learn what it was like to, to get a booking, you know, get a PayPal link and get a booking, free booking system and learn the process of talking to people on the phone. Cause I was in effects, I was an effects artist in film and, um, and, and for years, you can go watch my name in all kinds of movies. The last movie I worked on was Big Hero 6. I worked at Disney. But um, I didn't know how to do this stuff, right? I didn't even know I was psychic or empathic or any of, any of this stuff. Uh, but as soon as people would talk to me on the phone, they would get an audition or they would get the job or they would start making money because I have this energy of activation and illumination. It's just a natural thing. And so I started getting testimonials right away because the coach I had taught me how to get my PayPal link and I can teach you that stuff. Um, and it is gonna be part of the experience that I teach. But I started, I started making money in 2016. So I read a lot of people, a lot of people, Sarah, before I started asking um, for money. Um, but what I did was I started something called Valtopia Lights in the January of 2016 and I was reading for five ladies twice a week for six weeks. I was going through hell at the time in my marriage and I was exhausted, but I did it. And I started realizing that when I would read each woman, 
it was for them, for each one of them. Like it became very clear that I knew what I was, like the cards were right, my reading was right. And I also, you can watch me. I started, in 2016, they started having Facebook Live and I started going live. And I went live for 45 days in a row. And I was reading everybody, you can go watch those. And back then, because nobody was doing live streams yet, I would have three and 4,000 people watching my live stream. I'd have 30 to 40 people on at a time, which sometimes happens. It happened last week, we had 4,000 views and a lot of people on at the time. Um, but it's practice and practice and practice. So, um, so Sarah says, I've noticed people that do this kind of stuff need that kind of energy. I always worry I don't have the energy I need to do this. Um, okay, so here's the thing about energy and your energy and doing all this work of growing into being a messenger and an oracle. Oops, my alarm went off. Um, you grow into it. You know, you don't eat the whole pizza at once. You eat a slice at a time. So first I started doing that and then I, you know what? I collapsed a lot because I didn't balance it correctly. And I was, I had people doing readings for me and they're like, you're giving away your life force. And I will say that in 2016, a lot of people got the Valtopia effect. They exponentially quantum leaped. I had one lady who quadrupled her income and she's huge now. And I had other amazing things happen because I wasn't completely aware of how to manage and discern my own energy versus others. And I was doing this amazing activation thing where I would just do this thing and they would just be like, whoa, <laughs> they get the Valtopia sphere all imbued inside of them. Um, so you have to learn. You have to learn about how to manage your energy. And I teach all of this. This is every part of what I teach. I don't just teach about being an empath and being an oracle and being a healer and being a guide and a messenger. We talk about boundaries, we talk about life, we talk about love, we talk about money, we talk about running your business. Pretty much, I'm a mom, I'm a single mom, I've been through a divorce. I could talk to you about many, many things. And the, the hook is that you're empathic, you're highly aware, you're highly sensitive, maybe you're a people pleaser, you have a big generous heart and you wanna give so much and you haven't quite figured it out. These are my people. So, Let's see. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah says, I see like I see people like you and I'm like, I wanna have that connection with people who need to heal. I've always been, um, oh wait, you wanna have that connection with people who need to heal. Well, heal, like the reason that I'm so luminous now and having so much connection is because I finally take better and better care for myself. So you, be, you must begin to think, if you wanna heal and help others, you must begin to think of yourself as a divine channel and vessel for divine energy to come through you. Now, just because I'm super colorful and lit up and this is my style doesn't mean you have to be like that because there's a lot of people who would not receive from me, right? Can you imagine? There's some really gentle people that would just be like, ah, turn her off, you know, and you do. <laughs> But there's so many of you that we're aligned that you're like, oh, I love the energy. So every, each and every one of you are gonna have your people. That's why my tagline is own your frequency. There's nobody like you. Your story, your life, your way you look, the energy, that appeals to your people. So you gotta be yourself and you gotta heal and love yourself and become so resonant and embodied within yourself that you're just on overflow. That's when the healing and the magic begins. Not when you're all scratching and doing and trying to figure it out. And of course, there's a period of time when you're learning, but the more that you can take care of yourself and, and really honor your vessel and your channel, that's where the magic happens. Okay, let me see these comments. Um, Daniel says, I've always been super shy. I love doing this stuff, but I can't imagine ever going live or doing face-to-face -face work. Okay, Danielle, I have this amazing program called Epic Video Rockstar. It's bundled into the Dream Lab and um, it gets you over those fears of being on live streams and of connecting. And here's the other part of why I've been connecting with so many new clients. Um, it's not about the money and it's not about getting clients or booking slots in my business or meeting a quota. <laughs> it's about love and connection. I believe 100 million percent in what I'm doing. And I'm so excited when someone books in because I know their life is gonna get better. I know their life is gonna get better if they show up and do the work with me. Now, sometimes you have people that sign up for a group or 
I've even gifted people to come in a group and they just didn't show up. That's on them. Because <laughs> everybody else that came in the class and did the work actually shifted. So, you know, I've done it. I've signed up for classes and I was so scatterbrained and unhappy at the time that I just didn't show up and that it happens. So you, you have to know what it, what it is that you're providing for yourself and others and, and do it and do it and believe in it and believe in that connection with others. What is it you're resolving? What are, what are you sharing with your people? And that's what gets me to come on here live every day is that I know this shit works and I'm like, that's why sometimes I yell at you because I'm like, stop sitting there acting like you can't fix this you, because it's not broken. We can change this. It's awesome. I believe so much in what I'm doing and I'm so lit up by it and I'm so honored and love the process. I love getting new clients and watching them blossom open. It's just like I get like they come to me and they're all oh, blah, blah, and I'm like, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. And then in a matter of weeks, we're hours, days, weeks. They're like, my mind is blown. I can't believe it was, you, you know? So that you got to find your thing that you just know so naturally or, or look at your own journey and how it's helped you and start to share that. Or This is all stuff I, I would love to guide you through. Brandy says it takes a lot of patience and time to grow. It can take patience and time. Here's what I want to say instead of patience and thinking it's going to take a long time is back yourself, believe in yourself, be committed and consistent and stay the course. Doesn't that sound better than, oh, it's going to take a long time and I'm going to need to be patient. Fuck that. <laughs> Let's know that it's going to shift. It will shift exactly as is divinely guided. And I'm going to be committed and consistent and stay the course. That's been a huge one for me. I'm one of the most tenacious, resilient people you'll ever meet. And you guys don't see behind the scenes. I tell you about it afterwards, but like all the times, like I said, I offered courses and only one or two people showed up. I didn't let that get me down because I believed in what I was streaming through. And thankfully it was all recorded and now it's on my library. I didn't go, oh, nobody showed up, nobody likes me. I mean, I might've felt a little bit of that at a time, but I have a higher purpose, a higher calling, and it's an arc to it. You don't just get everything all at once in the beginning. You gotta get through the experience of graduating to this and then to that, right? Yeah, you just wanna help others. Help yourself first and overflow from that place of helping yourself. Sarah says, mom was a single mom too. I'm the same way about understanding a lot. My mom took her own life when I was fresh out of high school. Oh, honey. That's, I'm sure that's a, yes, that's a lot. My heart, heart's with you, babe. Danielle says, healing start with yourself for sure. And Brandy says, you have the same problem, you're shy. Okay, well, you know, there's a lot of really gentle souls who still need to be tuned into red, he, you know, energy healing, guidance. They're like you. There's a lot of introverts and quiet people who would be totally turned off by my level of energy. So you don't have to be anything but what's true to you. And as you grow more resonant and embodied, there's a calm about you. There's a presence about you. And you're not shy or insecure anymore. You're bringing yourself to the table and you believe in yourself. Sarah says, I feel it. When I get someone who wants a reading, I feel so much excitement that I want to see them in a better place mentally and physically. Hey, Ryan. So Sarah and everybody, I, you got to go back and watch my live stream from the other day. We don't, I don't, I don't expect you to change or have any attachment to your success. It's on you. But I know that I'm successful and I'm holding my space, my Valtopia, my company, my life behind the scenes, mirrors and reflects what I'm presenting to you out here. So it's not like behind the scenes I'm all fucked up and then come on TV and act like it's cool. Because you would know that. You would know that. So we, we don't want to um, put our, you know, when we give someone a reading, we're not trying to tell them what the answer is or tell them what their future is. You're simply really witnessing them, listening to them, and helping them find the places where they might be stuck, but they're doing the work of getting out of it. Don't, you know, that's between you, God and them, or the universe and them, that shift. And, and we're just facilitators, we're just guides. Does that resonate? It's really important to learn that lesson because um, that was something that was keeping me from sharing myself and my work to the way I do now like feeling like I was responsible for everyone's results. I ain't responsible for people's results. I'm responsible for presenting and offering a
the alarm keeps going off. A very tight container of infinite uh, quantum creation. And then you decide, I want to be in that space. I want to be in that space with Val. And I want what she's saying, she's guiding me through. And I trust myself to invest that money and show the fuck up because she's doing it. So I'm going to do it when I do it with her. Then you go from there. Do you feel me on that? Um, I'm good, Ryan. Daniel says, exactly. Jasmine says, I know I'm a healer. I've always loved to help people. I, lo I know, I do too. I love, guy I love watching people expand and illuminate and fulfill their potential. And honestly, because I'm an oracle and a mystic and all this stuff, I see your highest self. And of course, that gets us into a lot of trouble, doesn't it? Because, you know, we have uh, people in our lives that aren't living at their highest potential. And we see their soul being and we're like, <laughs> what's going on here? And that took me a long time to figure out that my soul vision of you or people isn't always going to align because people have free will and they get to choose. They don't have to come up into that soul being. And chances are they will when you hang out with me, but a lot of people get friction and resistance and don't want to grow, don't want to change. Sarah says, I needed to hear that. That was my problem. I was trying to instruct more than listen. Yes, you must listen. Listen and uh, don't try to prove yourself or your gift. Um... If you can, you know, I've, I've learned a lot about my intuitive ability to see and know from just coming on here and doing live. And honestly, that's one of the reasons I come on and do these readings, to keep my instrument, you know, tuned and to keep aware of, oh, it's shifting. Oh, I'm aware of this now. Oh, I'm starting to feel this. And I, li I like to know my audience and my, my, um, f my community and find out what's going on because that's what guides a lot of the content that I bring through. Content I bring through is for collective release. I'm on a mission. I feel like we were born to come and do and be this. And I'm like, come on, let's go. Come on, time is of the essence. And it, I feel like, you know, there is no time. But I feel like the more of us that tune into our hearts and collectively ripple out in our communities, this type of awareness and passion for living and open up the places that are blocked and quit feeling unworthy and scared and live in faith. Well, that's just exponentially powerful in the universe and creating so much. So that's why I'm proud and strong about it and come out. Daniel says, we are not the healers. We are the facilitator that helps others to heal themselves. Yeah, because nobody's broken. We just had to, uh, you know, so much of what I do, especially in these messenger sessions, is about perceptions and beliefs. It's amazing when you talk to somebody and they, they come and they say one thing and you say, well, is it possible that, uh, 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 and you lay out something and they go, oh my God. I never thought about it like that. And I'm like, I know, I didn't either until my person showed me, but there you go. <laughs> and then it's like, boom. And that's not me doing a light language or a past life healing or whatever. I could do all that stuff and we do do it, but I'm finding more and more of the work is about guiding people back to their own inquiry and their own discovery. So that when they leave my care, they're like, they message me later and they're like, wow, I'm still okay. These are people with severe PTSD, anxiety, trauma, they're not freaking out anymore and they're not trying to leave the planet anymore because they're like, I understand how to get back into a good place and deal with this shit. You feel me on this? Look at my face. I got so excited, I'm all red. Sarah says, dude, I have to do something that happened to me this morning. It'll take me a minute to type, but I think it may add to the conversation. Okay, Sarah, share, share. I'm so glad you're part of the community now. Jasmine says, yes, yes, yes. Ryan says, I need to find a way to get to my higher potential. Every day is a little bit more, baby steps. Every day, choose something that helps you feel more expansive and aligned to your vision. It's, it's incremental steps that make for the biggest shift. Sometimes we have some huge leap, like investing in a class with me or somebody you think you wanna work with or taking that job or moving across, you know, whatever it is you're feeling inspired to do. Those are quantum leaps and they can be traumatic and shifting and everything changes right at once. But a lot of the work are these little incremental steps every day. Like me working out, that has changed so much for me over the last few weeks. Um, hi, Holly. If a person does light language, does that mean they're an angelic? I don't know if I have the answer to that, but I will tell you that I've been doing light language since I was eight years old and it just comes naturally to me. If I wanna be really um, non-woo about it, I would say that um, 
it relaxes me and lets me feel my true nature. But my clients are star seeds and highly cosmic and empathic and they love it. They love it and they respond to my voice, my energy, the words I use, the toning. They, they have huge responses. And, and like if Paul's still on here or anybody from the D-Lab, those clients are so highly aware that I didn't even have to give them any content. They were just fluctuating and rising up into their higher selves from being in the D-Lab container. They were just to be in my pre like virtual presence. I wasn't seeing any of them. None of my clients see me a person, almost any of them. I even booked a client the other day at the nail salon and she lives around the corner and we're doing it all on text. <laughs> Because I don't, I don't have to touch you or see you or know much about you to, to assist you with your energy and um, shifting your life into a beautiful space. Um, okay. So, Holly, do you do any light language or have you enjoyed it? You just took a starseed course. Cool. Well, y'all, I feel like I'm leader of the, some of the, I'm very much a starseed. I call everybody supernovas. And I very much identify with that energy. And I, like I said, I feel like my community and clients are a constellation. And the closer you come into the Valtopia sphere and into my spaces, my paid private spaces, the more we illuminate together and begin to create a collective healing. I do really believe the work we do um, is a collective expansion. Okay, so Sarah says, I had a man asking me for a reading uh, if his past lover who he had a child with was going to love him again. I did my oracle cards and started to feel that he was in a spot where he needed to change or he would continue to be on a negative path with an even bigger lesson to learn than before. He asked a reading for the woman. I saw her feeling solitude. I found out he cheated on her and was asking me to do a love spell. Ooh. Oh yeah, he continued to ask for more readings. I said I could only do more for pay because I was like, he's the one who hurt her. Why should I help someone do it wrong? Okay, you get to decide who you work with, what your boundary is, um, how it's gonna go, and if at any point you're feeling like it's off, cut that off, you know? Don't, just be polite, be respectful, and stand your ground, because if you've got people coming in at, and I personally don't do spells, I mean, obviously intentions are spells, you know? Intentions are prayers. We do a lot of intentions in the Valtopia sphere, but I like people, I respect other people's energy, I believe in karma, in, this, in the sense that uh, free will, let's put it that way. Uh, and I believe that when we let people rise up into their highest being by overcoming their own challenges with just facilitation and guide, they will crack through much more powerfully than if we try to coddle or coax or, hand, you know, that's codependent shit. We don't do that in the Valtopia sphere. We rise up into our sovereignty and we own our presence and frequency and we guide others to do the same by reflecting that back to them. We just simply are, ref we're just reflecting back what, you know, we're listening, we're witnessing, we're supporting. And sometimes support is, means, uh, no, I'm not going to sit here and listen to you, bitch, because it's not helping you. <laughs> if you want to sit a bitch, you go somewhere else. You come here and you can tell me what's wrong and then we're going to shift it. I'm not going to sit and listen to anything more than here's what I think the situation is and here's what I'm doing to resolve it and here's how I, where I want to go with it. Because bitching or complaining and, oh, that sucks, doesn't it? That just doesn't help anybody. That just keeps us stuck, right? Okay, Danielle, thank you. Good to see you. Book in for the reboot and the thing if you can because it will change your life. Um, you do spells. Yeah, I mean, I love, um, I'm part of a, a witch community. My girl, Leah Steele, she has a whole bunch of witches in there. It's just something that I, I mean, even though I've healed and cleared a lot of witch energy in the throat, um, I happen to just more identify, I think I like uh, the simplicity of um, the cosmic galactic method, which I'm just naturally uh, attuned to that. But I feel like if there's too many rituals and rules and you gotta do this and then that, I'm out, I'm out. I like to follow my intuition and just follow a very simple way so that the energy just streams through. Most of what I'm doing is becoming more and more me just taking care of myself and letting my resonance pass through to the people that decide to invest in my private experiences. Um, and it's working, it's working. Um, Holly says, I did toning before and after I met my false twin or near twin flame. He did it and then I started, oh good. Have you ever seen me doing my 
Uh, toning holly. It's not constant though. Sometimes I think I lost how to do it. Nah, you don't lose anything. You don't lose anything. Oh, I hope I'm not missing anybody on the, the watch party. I always do that. I put it on there and then I forget. Oh no, there's nobody on there. Okay. Um, all right. Sarah says, I don't do anything that I feel would impact anything wrongly. I only offer spells to raise a higher conscious. It's sad because I've had ever several love spell requests, but if they didn't love them to start with, it shouldn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just, it just doesn't, I don't resonate with the techniques. It's too complicated. I just rather just, uh, I don't know. I love what I'm doing and it's working. I love looking at behavioral patterns and, um, how to come into resonance. Uh, if someone was coming to me for love advice, I would not be thinking about the other person over there. I'd be tuning into the person that's asking for the guidance and what are we doing about you? How are you changing your vibration? What are you calling in? What's, what, what are you afraid of? What are you faithful of? You know, I wouldn't do any voodoo or spells because it doesn't resonate for me. What resonates for me is um, asking my clients deep questions and feeling their chakras and their energy and aligning them to their highest resonance because everything comes from there. That's just my, my natural inclination. I don't have any problem with, the, with it though or judgment. I'm not a religious person by any means or have any thought about it that way. Ryan says, sometimes I feel like something is calling me, but I can't really act on it or figure out what it is. What should I do or how do I figure it out? Well, Ryan, um, you know, do you journal? And if you don't journal, are you gonna join us in the reboot and learn how to journal? Um, but you gotta start writing about it, talking about it, feeling into it. And a lot of the times, you know, the big thing that's calling us, you have to first get to it by doing something that you're called to, and that takes you on this journey. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm clearing some energy, and then that takes you on this journey, and then you meet that person, and then you realize, oh my God, I wanted to do that because this, right? Like when I was a young woman and had graduated college with a double major in art history and Italian, I didn't know what I was gonna do to make a living, and so I was lucky I was able to go stay with my parents, and my dad was like, you just need to figure it out. So I decided I was gonna do TV, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what I was getting into. And that led me down the path of going and getting my Master of Fine Arts in Electronic Visualization, which was just some weird degree that happened at the time, which then led to me coming out here to Los Angeles and working uh, for a software company for seven years before I then worked in the film business for 15 years. So, and then now here I am doing this. And I would have never known I was gonna do this back then. It's a meandering road of me following my passions and desires and intuition. Yeah, Sarah. So, okay, who wants to hear a toning? Should we do some toning? Let me make sure I'm not missing any comments anywhere. Yay. Okay, who's ready for some toning? We're gonna do that now because I feel some energy in here. And I bet you I need to log off. I bet my kids are going to be popping in here any minute. My sitter went to get them. Okay, ready? Oh! There it is. There it is. And let's put a little light language on that. See? <laughs> there it is. I feel all this energy over here and my face is really hot. We've done a lot of transmission on this stream. Yes, Holly. Seriously, I was on fire today and I feel really hot. Like I've, I've been in a state of transmission as I am in all of these live streams. I really am, encourage those of you really watching this whole thing. First of all, to let me know you watch the whole thing and um, to drink some water and to take a hot salt bath if you can. <laughs> we did some activations here today, I really do believe. So um, thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Holly. So listen, if you guys are drawn to me and want to uh, 
shift through some difficult behaviors, patterns, shift your energy, align your chakras, get to know yourself better, find the thing that you're not quite sure, um, and, and learn how to write in your journal and write the past and create the future by writing. $288 for both classes. That's a $444 class and a $288 class, five days with me, and then the reboot's gonna go a little bit. So it'd be about 10 days with me, about that, right? Don't miss this opportunity. Cause I actually have a, another thing I'm running and then, then I'm launching like a long year long, a really kick-ass program and it's gonna be different. You know, I, sh I, I keep changing and following the, my guidance. So yes, Jasmine, yeah. Yes, well, follow, follow your intuition because I really feel like, like for with my mentors, I would just book in without knowing why and then I would realize, oh, of course I worked with this person, this is why. Um, but I follow my intuition about it for sure. So let's pull a card now in this energy before my kids come running in here for everyone. And how many of you are signing up? I wanna know. And if you're not signing up but you really want to, tell me why. Let's work through it right now. Because look at this great crew. How fun would we have together for five days? And we could so change our experience. Oh, look at that rocks and crystals. Oh! I have 30 foot ceilings here, so <laughs> it echoes through the whole place. You wish you could, Jasmine. All right, let me see what's coming through here. And Jasmine, I still have, um, that opportunity for you. I really love that. And I've been talking to my team. We just have to get something going, figure out how to do that in a way that works for me too. Yeah, you got your kids with the seizures. All right, well, we're gonna shift the energy. I do have that opportunity for you for watching the clips and finding the best minutes for me so I can edit them. Um, I just need to find a way to do it that it, it flows and it's not at like extra, um, because every new client that I take on, I take very deeply and I spend a lot of time with them. And so it, it has to match everything that I'm doing and fit into the whole thing. Holly says I'm not working at this time. I'd sign up if I could. Okay, well, I hope that you, uh, by the time you work in, you can, you can sign in. Um, I feel, ooh, look, music. Music and the universe. I feel when we're motivated by something and we know it's gonna change our life, um, you know, it's like the client that I had in the reboot back in November. She was unemployed at the time and had been employed for, unemployed for 11 months. And she booked in for one-to-one -one because she shifted so much in that reboot. And through the time we worked together, she got another job and things shifted for her tremendously. So she went from being unemployed and brave enough to book in my one-to-one -one while she was unemployed. And then she got a job because her whole energy changed. And I had another client the same. Um, she'd been looking for a job forever and she, finally, she booked in for the reboot. And then she knew how to ask for what she wanted. She, she wasn't settling for anything that came her way. She had a completely different energy and aspect about it. Okay, Jasmine. Yeah, like we'll get you in a little group and figure out some way to do it. So... So, all right, guys. Well, make sure you sign up for the free meditation and get it in the mail list so you can see what's coming through. Um, and how many of you guys have done the Abundance Awakening? Those of you who aren't working and feel like you can't afford right now. Because the Abundance Awakening is only $22 and it's on Valtopia.com. And it's a two-hour video and it's uh, got a, a, you know, a clearing and an activation in it. So it, it could shift your energy around that too. So, um, and you know, some people might watch this and be like, damn, she's pushy. No, I love you, I care about you. And I see you writing about what you're stuck. You're coming and connecting with me and you're needing support. And I'm saying I can help you when you transcend this, you know, barrier to finding the time and the money to invest in yourself to shift this thing. Um, so I'm not pushy, I love you and I, I believe in what I'm offering and I, um, I will coach you through your fears to get to help you um, find the support that you need. Because the thing that we don't understand before we make these changes is how much you're gonna change when you invest in yourself and change. 
<laughs> I didn't know it either. You know, before you do it, you're like, oh, what if? And how am I going to ever pick? Because you're still thinking that everything's going to be like it is right now. And once you go through this type of transformation, things are going to be different and you'll have different results than you have had. So that's why I'm so confident about it. And I know that you guys come to it in your own time. You're totally free to come and go as you please. And um, I'm happy to show up here every day and do what I can to, to bring the fire through every day. Yes, Brandy. Here, let me put it in the comments. It's only $22. And I have people signing up for it almost every day. And they love it. And most of them end up booking in as one-to-one -one eventually. Here, let me find the link for it. Um, I'm so hot. Do you guys feel all that energy that was coming through me? All right, here, let me put the link in here. And when you sign up for the meditation, the free meditation, you also get a link to it, to the Abundance Awakening, I think. My team did this awesome thing where it all is connected in there. Let me just do this and put it on there. Yeah, this was a good stream, right? Oh my, okay, my, um, my, ba my kids are here, so I gotta go. But man, we got it in, didn't we? I'm so glad I came on when I did. And let me put the comments. Brandy, I'll be looking for you on my sign up. Sign up right now. And, um, and come join us in my free group, Valtopia. Ooh, I gotta put the link for today. We have a different theme every day and lots happening. And uh, tomorrow's Funk It Friday. Maybe I'll play some bongos tomorrow. All right? So if you're watching the playback, let me know. Um, sign up for next week if you're watching the playback and you're ready to shift powerfully. And I'll see you tomorrow, honey. Own your frequency. There's nobody like you. Bye, everybody.